Hey man, back again with DMZ TV. It's me, David. Got my man Dutch here. We're here at the Hookah Place. You know where it is. 1384 Northwest 29th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142. Check us out. Best hookah shop in Miami. Guaranteed. Yeah, so today we're gonna be packing bowls and what kind of bowl we're we using for this one? Um, we're gonna use a number of bowls. Number, all right. A number of bowls. Nice. But the first bowl we're gonna do is one of the newest ones on the market. It is the Sam Saris Vitria 2. That's my baby right there. All right, Dave, so let us know what, what, what you're working there with. Okay, so our red shisha here is um, some my Fokker special edition. It's the sweet pomegranate. Yes. And then our brown slash blonde blend here is the cucumberita. Basically what I do before I pack bowls, before I set up a hookah, as minute, just as soon as I get my shisha, or my tobacco rather, mm -hmm. I um, chop it up to make it a little bit more finer cut. That way it's a little bit easier for me to manage and to pack my bowls. And um, each shisha, you kind of have to pack them a different way if you just take them stock nice. out of the cans. Right. But by chopping it up and making it a little bit more finer on the cut, yes. you can pretty much pack any brand the same way across all bowls. Only thing that's different is how you would pack said bowl. If you use your fork, or your, or your hands, mm -hmm. just scoop it up, lightly pack it inside the bowl. There, when you lightly pack it in the bowl, yes. it creates a nice little air pocket on the underneath right. where the wind vents are. Mm -hmm. And it allows for better heat penetration. All right. All right, Dave, let us know what we got here. All right, so our bowl is packed, as you can see. You have it here. Now, quick heads up. When you pack this bowl, there's two lines. There's your fill line. Oh, oh. There's, your, there's your fill line, which is a little bit, which is about right here. And then you have your line that your lotus sits on. When you pack your bowl, you want to make sure you fill it up just above that fill line nice. so that the nubs of the lotus such as the whoops. There we go. It's so, all live right now. So yeah. So that the so that the nubs of the lotus touch the shisha. All right. And my and again, with this bowl, you only can use the lotus. You cannot use aluminum foil with this bowl. Nice. So you only can use the lotus. All right. Oh, that I mean that makes sense. Yeah. Of course, it's a cloud product, cloud bowl. They're made for each other. Yeah. All right. Just put that baby on top. Bang, bang, bang. So we're gonna put them coals. Get the coals ready. What kind of coals? Cocoa piece, 100% coconut coal, sold mm -hmm. exclusively here at the hookah place. Nice. And well, how long of a smoke session can we get with this? About two hours easily. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So, cheat code to warm up the lotus, just blow on them a little bit. And put your lid on top. Yeah, you need a step stool for this, man. Stay <laughs> Yeah, man. But it's a good, it's a traditional Egyptian style hookah. Works like a champ, man. So Dave, let me let me understand this one. Here's where you put the ice, right? And that cools, mm -hmm. cools yeah, it down. This is, the... Yeah, this is what's known as a chiller hookah. Mm -hmm. So that you can pretty much put ice in here, cools the smoke, and I kind of go overboard with the ice. So I fill this up with ice and I fill my base up with ice. Nice. And I have a diffuser on it to keep the rumble down and to make it a little bit more quieter, it smooths out the smoke as well. All right, so let, let us know what, what, what we got over here up front. All right, so we have your standard ceramic bowl mm -hmm. that comes with most starter hookahs, anything from your Ferro Nubias to your Econa hookahs from Starbucks. Let me see. Right there. So this is how it looks like. You see we have the uh, five holes. Mm -hmm. So explain more. And about. like the pack this bowl is very standard. What most people do, they just take the shisha from your container where it's a little pouch or a can and just dump it on top, put your aluminum foil, your charcoal, and you're good to go. Um, but to get best performance of it, it's all about the airflow. With anything that you pack in your bowls, it's always about airflow. So the quickest way to fix that is after you dump your shisha in and you put your foil on, you can give it a quick little shake to create some separation between the bottom of the bowl and the shisha or after you pack it you can take a little hole puncher 
or your poker that you would use for your foil mm -hmm. and just poke through the holes for the through the shisha nice. right down to the bottom of the bowl through these five holes and that helps with the airflow so what's this one right here this is a clay bowl mm -hmm. it's not your traditional egyptian clay bowl but it's the similar properties um it's unglazed of course and that would mean that when she let's say if we would smoke like double apples or mints the bowl itself would be seasoned so pretty much any flavor that you would smoke in there you would taste it regardless you could pack whatever but keep in mind as you pack this bowl over time those flavors will bleed into the clay and you will taste them no matter what you smoke and then um this one i've never seen this one before now this is a bit on the advanced side side of things right. this is known as a manzari crown this bowl you have to pack it totally different than any other bowl that you might own from coming down from your funnel bowls to your clay bowls you have to pack it totally different as you can see we have holes in the bottom what those holes are for mm -hmm. it's for heat and you don't put your charcoal on top like you would with traditional bowls oh you so now put, i get it and that's why you have this tray on the bottom your charcoal goes down here and the heat rises so it cooks the shisha in the bowl here now the packing method for this the reason why i say it's different mm -hmm. you don't go straight from your container to your bowl if you do as the shisha heats up it's going to drip the glycerin drip. and the honey down onto your coals and black out the coals what you have to do you have to dry it out a little bit okay. and what i tend to do with this bowl i get two layers of of um paper of um paper towel take the amount that i'm gonna pack in here i mix it on the paper towel right here give it a little fold it up a few times give it a nice little squeeze don't squeeze it out to the point where it's dried out but squeeze it enough times that it's still moist but not dripping just squeeze it open it back up again um mix it back up and then i just go with my hands for the most part and I'll do a fluff pack all the way around the, the bowl here, around the spire, the center spire. Put the lid on top, put my coals on. It takes a while for this to heat up. It takes about um, 10 minutes for it to get the optimal heat. But um, once it's heated up and you're smoking, if you feel like it's too hot, you can adjust the level. So oh, nice. when you want, when you are starting off this bowl, you wanna Started give it time. about two or three rotations mm -hmm. to bring the level up to here. Then as you smoke, you bring it down if it's too hot oh. and then as the coals begin to burn out and shrink mm -hmm. you bring it back up to bring more heat up to the bowl now quick question you can get all these bowls here at the hookah place right yeah pretty much so all yeah. the bowls here at hookah place except for this one we do plan on carrying it mm -hmm. but we just don't have it in stock at the moment but um all the bowls from the samsara's vitria 2 to the hookah john bowls to the clay bowls, the ferro ones, because this is from ferro, or the traditional clay bowls, you can pretty much get them here. They range in all affordable prices. We don't try to break your pockets here. Um, but at the same time, you do pay for the quality. So if you want something on the higher end, you have to pay a little bit more, but it's always affordable. The good thing about hookah places, when we do our pricing, it's like online pricing minus the shipping and handling. So if it says $45 online, it's $45 here. Nice, love it. A quick tip. The thing that I always tell our customers every time they're buying a new hookah, no matter if they're a seasoned hookah smoker or they're brand new, is airflow. Airflow, airflow, airflow. It's the most important thing that you can have when smoking hookah. Nice. That comes down from packing your bowls to when you set up your water level. When you're packing your bowls, no matter what bowl it is, whether it's a bowl like this, a bowl like this, a bowl like this or our samsaras always 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 practice airflow you can overpack your bowls if you want but when you do try to do a fluff pack if you will and that's just sprinkling it in it you can take it up above the rim that gives you the best airflow for your for your sessions therefore your shisha doesn't burn as hot and you can prolong your sessions that way because as long as you get good airflow the heat permeates through your shisha a lot better, through your tobacco a lot better, and you're able to smoke it and enjoy it rather than smoke it and be like, God damn, this thing is burning. I know, I get that feeling sometimes. Mm -hmm. All right, awesome, I mean, this was some good information. This was a quick video about how to pack your hookah. And yo, Dave, you're always the man, you know, with the, with the awesome information, so you gotta okay. go.
anytime Dutch man. Um, again, it's David here at from representing Hookah Place Team Hookah Place all day. You know, with DMZ TV, we enjoy you guys. We and I know you enjoy us, just like how we try to give it to our viewers and to our customers. Let them know where they can find you. Like, yeah. oh, on our social media for the shop, it's Hookah Place. Mm -hmm. That's Instagram, Facebook, um, Snapchat, Hookah Place, all one word. And for me, you can find me, David, at the Rosgries. That's D A. R A Z G R I Z. That's Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, um, PlayStation, whatever. <laughs> PlayStation. Like and that um, one. and the big boss man, who doesn't like to be called the boss, but hey, man, we love him, love him like a brother, man. That's Mickey Hooker. You can find him at Just Mickey Three Hundred Five on Instagram, or you can contact him through the Hooker page, through our shops page at Hooker Place. Dot, at Hooker Place. No dot com. Just Hooker Place. All right. Enjoy. Hope to see you here soon. All right, guys. So this was a quick snippet about packing the hookah. Hope you guys enjoy it. Leave your comments. Hit the like button if you like the video. And please subscribe, man. Please subscribe. Get them views. Get them likes. Share it with your friends. We love the feedback. So comment. Comment. Let us know what you think. If you got any questions, we answer them in the comments. Or hey, we're just doing another video and answer all your questions. All right.